Hi there, good morning. It's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, this is a quick impromptu Facebook Live. I just wanted to hop on to um, just talk about, see if there were any questions about the upcoming official retiring list um, for the from the Stampin' Up! 20, um, 2020 to 2021 catalog. So um, there's a lot going on. There are things that are being discontinued, um, things that are running really low right now, like our, uh, all of the in colors from uh, the 2019 to 2021 group. So I just wanted to go over that. Um, and if anyone had any questions, you can ask me now or you can put it in the comments. Um, but let me just see, um, make sure that I'm in my, that I'm on my page. So let's see. Um, and then at the end, I do have a really quick um, uh, tutorial, really quick, simple, to show you my, um, my March customer thank you cards, which I um, also uh, used the retiring in colors. So I wanted to give you um, an idea still of how, how simple it is to just put a nice, um, a nice cute, simple card together. So, okay, I am where I am. There are a few people on, so thanks for joining me today. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, um, let me know who's here, because I can't tell from just the number. Um, and um, so we'll get started. Let me, I'm just gonna point you down, and then um, we'll just talk about the in colors and the, um, the, the uh, retiring list that is coming out next week and what's gonna happen at that point. Okay, so these are the colors for the um, actual uh, 2019 to 2021 in colors. And these are the ones that will be retiring um, with, the, with the release of the new 2021 uh, to 2023 uh, in colors. Now, if you're new, fairly new to Stampin' Up, I mean, if you've been around, you know the deal of what happens with this, but I just wanted to explain it for those of you that may be a little new and a little confused as to what's going and what's, what's coming. So, um, here is the five colors that are retiring. Um, Stampin' Up always has a group of five new in colors always current so there's so there's this one is retiring this year so a new five color family in color family will be released I think we're gonna find out what the colors are tomorrow today or tomorrow um, but they will be in the new catalog so we get a little sneak peek at that so um, so every year they do that so there's always two years worth that are current that that are available so this, the current year, now these are not going away. This, this is the 20, um, tw 2020 to 2022 colors from the, from the In Color family. So these are staying, there's nothing going on with these. Bumblebee, Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider, Magenta Madness, and Just Jade. Those are all staying because that is the current year they will retire next year in 2022. So these are what is retiring this year. And um, so these colors, now there's five, there's always five colors. This purple posy was um, a little bit of an issue with, um, with Stampin' Up! trying to get the formula correct. So the problem with that was they had to just discontinue the ink. But the cardstock is still there. It's still perfect. Um, and so that's still available. So when I'm showing you the, um, the actual ink pads, you're only going to see four. And when I have my um, samples that I'll show you, I have... Um, I, I do have them, but when I use the Purple Posy cardstock, I always match it up with the um, Highland Heather ink because that, that's just a little bit darker purple. But this is a beautiful purple. It's unfortunate that it, the formula, just, they just couldn't get it right, so they pulled it, which was the right thing to do. So as of now, um, last time I checked, which was earlier this morning, just about all the ink pads are on back order from, this, from the, um, the in colors. So what's gonna happen is 
next Wednesday on the 24th, I think it's the 24th, they have the um, Stampin' Up! will release the full official retiring list. And we know, because we know the time frame is up for these for 2021, that these in colors are going to be on that retiring list. So the deal is, this is the time of year that these things fly off the shelves. Now, if you place your order, if you place an order from now until the time that the, um, the official list comes out, Stampin' Up! will honor that order and they will replace any items that are back ordered. So right now, like I said, when I checked all of the, um, just I think the Rococo Rose cardstock, but all of the other uh, ink pads, blends, refills, they're all on back order, but they will be re-ordering um, them and they will replenish that back order. So you'll still be able to get them up until next week. As soon as that list comes out, then it's on a first come first serve basis while supplies last. So once that's gone, whatever the stock is that they, that they replenish between now and next week, that'll be it. So it's a little confusing, like what's discontinued, what's gonna retiring and um, what's just on back order. And I would say all three of those things pertain to the new, to the older in colors. Um, because right now they, they definitely are retiring because their time is up, it's two years. They are on the, on the list. So they are on back order right now, especially with yesterday's one day sale. I, I mean, excuse me, one day free shipping sale. Um, they just they they just flew off the shelves because I know they weren't all on back order yesterday morning. By this morning they were, but it's okay. You can still get them up until um, next week, and then even a little bit after. But that's when they all go. So it's it's going to be very soon after next week where you will not be able to order them. They they just won't be available. So um, so my suggestion always is at this time of year to protect the investment that you've already made, meaning that you've already purchased the stamp sets so um, and you want to keep using them. So you don't, you know, why, why lose that capability of, of continuing to use them? Um, the best thing to do would be to order the refills at this point because then you can keep these nice and safe and use them for um, a very, very long time after these, um, these things are discontinued. So, um, and also if you want, and, and also the blends, that helps for coloring. And also for the cardstock, I mean, I think the refills for your, for your ink pads is most important because the, um, because you can't, you're, you're not gonna be able to use them at all anymore. Um, after they dry out. So, I mean, in the cardstock, it's just good to have them, you know, to have them on hand because you're not going to be able to get that coordination of those colors. So that's my, um, my suggestion is refills, the re ink refills first. And then after that, I would definitely um, look into checking to see how much cardstock you have and what, um, you know what you can do with it how how long it will last so that's just so you so you can understand i know if you're new you know or fairly new to stampin up i mean it was very confusing for me in the beginning like to, i didn't understand the whole thing about the in colors outgoing in go incoming um so hopefully that made it a little bit easier for you to understand but like i said all of these are on back order right now but they will be on your orders will be honored up until next week um, when that list comes out and then it's all um, while supplies last from here on out okay so that's what I just wanted to tell you about that let me show you what I did with um, my in colors I'm trying to use up just like you I'm using up my um, my in color cardstock stash and um, so this is what I did these were my these will be my March thank you cards to my customers so I used the, uh, which I was happy to get into, I had used these sentiments on a few other projects, but I 
so wanted to use this image here. And um, so I, was, I used that opportunity to make my, um, my thank you cards. And since I wanted to use all the different colors of the, uh, of the outgoing um, in colors, <laughs> that, um, that's why I just ran it through my Stamparatus and uh, just banged them out, like one right after the other. Just, uh, so let me just show you how I did that. Um, really quick, um, I think I'll do, which is my favorite color from this, um, which this one, I, the Pretty Peacock, I really liked, which is unusual for me. I'm not usually a dark color girl, but um, I did like that. I felt it was very rich. But this was definitely my favorite, the Seaside Spray. I will miss that. I have to tell you, this one was kind of, was my least favorite. Um, I don't know about you, but when I saw this, all I could think of was like the 80s <laughs> and um, how everything was like, I would have, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, it's mauve or mauve, however they said it. But it was like over all everything um, during the 80s. And when I think of the 80s and a color, this is the color that I think of. So all the 80s were fine. Um, I just, just don't like that color. So let's just do a little bit with the Seaside Spray. This will just take a sec. I have just a regular card base that I um, scored. It is just eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, just the standard. I have this piece of basic white. That's gonna go inside here just um, because it's a colored cardstock. I like to have something on the outside, I mean on the inside. All right, so before we, let's just do a little bit of stamping here. I have, um, from Seaside Spray, I cropped out um, a fairly large rectangle from the stitched rectangles. And um, I'm just gonna stamp it tone on tone right on there. So I have my Stamparatus, and this is what I used when I was making all of them, so I could just do a couple in one color, wipe it off, and move on to the next color and so that's all I'm going to do I always keep a stamp set or anything underneath there um, so you have some level uh, surface to work with you get a better um, a better print that way all right I'm going to put this down give it a little this is a, a very simple but pretty image and that looks pretty good I don't even have to and that's why I do it with the Stamparatus, so I don't have to worry about, um, you know, bad spots and then me not being able to get it right on there perfectly afterwards. Um, so let's just, while I have the ink out, let me do my um, thank you sentiment from the set. And this again was from um, the stitched uh, rectangles or rectangle stitched shape dies. And I'm just going to put this right here in the middle. Okay, get rid of that. And you can see how simple this was. And usually I do something pretty simple for, um, for my thank yous. I wanted to show you, I forgot to show you before, because I wanted to maybe use one of these for this project here. Um, but along with the in colors, um, you, you have the ink, you have the refills, you have the blends markers, you have the... Um, Oh, you like that comment? Yeah, 80s. It's exactly <laughs> mauve. It's just, that's just what the 80s was about. Um, so, so it also, with the in colors, all of the accessories, so I meant to tell you that before, all of the accessories will be gone too. So this was the uh, scalloped um, ribbon that I, I think I only had three. I don't know if I had the other ones. So that's going to be gone. And then also the um, enamel dots that were from the from in all of these colors so you know so that's that, that's another reason to stock up on whatever you can get now so everything coordinates so for this one here I think I'd like to in previous projects um, I felt that this was a, a little thick to have um, to make a bow or to have any kind of a border so if I was just going to do a border on something I may have just put it on there like this, okay? But there were many times where I just wanted a thin border. So let's see how that looks today. And all I did was just take my 
snips and um, just cut right along there. And you could use the, uh, the natural part if you wanted to use that. That would be a nice soft um, embellishment. Or you could just use it just like this, just to have a little bit of trim. So let's just try that. I think this is enough, but let me just be sure. Okay. And then if you see any um, of these, you can just either cut them of the, uh, the natural trim part. It's really simple to cut them right off. Okay, so let's just, we can just add this on just to be a little, a little piece there. All right, let's do this for the inside. So let me get my snail, not my snail. I used my snail yesterday because on the Facebook Live because my um, seal ran out on me. Okay, so let's just put this in there. I just have a habit of putting, although this is light blue, it, this would be fine, but I have a habit of putting um, a piece of white in the inside just to write. I don't really like writing on the on the actual um, colored cardstock. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. All right. So what we can do here maybe is just put this right along. I think I'll put it along both. I'm just going to um, uh, layer it up. That's all. That's how simple it was. And when I'm doing multiples. Um, I always do it like a, like a, um, you know, like a, just a, a, a quick way of, of just doing it, doing one thing and then moving on, doing the next thing. So I would do all my inking up of the Stamparatus, do all my stamping, and then, um, and then do all my adhering. So let's see how we're going to get this on here. I could put it down here. I could put it down here. All right, let's just try. We'll put it on the on the end there, and just a little bit of adhesive. Sometimes um, I would just put a piece of scotch tape there, and yeah, let's put it right on top, and that should be fine. It just adds a little bit of interest. All right, and now I can put that on. And you could pop this up with dimensionals. Oh, come on. This you really have to press hard on. I don't understand that. Not so much with the, um, with the Seal Plus, but I find this one, you definitely have to really press it down. Okay, now this I'm just gonna pop up with some dimensionals and we will be done. So if you have any questions, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And you'll, you can see the replay afterwards if you do have any questions later on. You just type them in, let me know. Okay. All right, now let's just use one of those little faceted dots and we'll be on our way. Let's see, use this so I don't have to get my take my pick tool out, which I don't have it right here with me. And there you go. You could add a couple of little ones, but I don't really have any. Uh, they had like really tiny ones, which I use first because I love those. Okay, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. If you do have any questions, let me bring it back up. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Uh, you can just type them here or send me an email, whatever, however you want to do it. But um, so I hope it just made something that may be a little confusing, uh, a little bit easier to understand. But um, bottom line is, you know what you have just to, to protect your investment so you can get many, many more years out of it. So um, that's what we want. We want you to be able to, to keep stamping. Okay, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day and, um, and I'll just see you next time. Thanks again. Stay safe. Bye-bye.